This is a really nice uh, blue 1947 Plymouth Special Deluxe four-door sedan. They started production of Plymouth uh, in 46, and they sold a few of that year, but full scale came in 47 and 48, and there's very little difference between or among those uh, three years. Essentially the same car. Flathead 6, and uh, you can see the uh, scoop there, the uh, cowl vent, bring fresh air into the car, plenty of chrome on the car, which was quite a change from uh, the blackout models of 1942, a very abbreviated year when uh, they stopped using chrome plating. And uh, the interior, uh, very nice, lots of chrome there too, and uh, painted wood grain, very attractive, push button radio, tube type of course, and there's that three-speed uh, manual transmission on the tree. And that's how my aunt uh, told me and showed me how to shift gears. And I was doing that about eight years of age, brand new car, and uh, I was her uh, semi-automatic transmission. <laughs> She'd put in the clutch and I knew what gear to put it in, so uh, that's how I learned. And you see the fenders were separate. There you see the bead of chrome there separating that that fender, so if there was a smash up, why you could easily repair it, put on a new uh, fender very easily. That's a big uh, trunk there, you can see. And there's a single stoplight on the uh, trunk lid. And those uh, two other lights there on either uh, fender uh, have to do with uh, just running lights, whether you had the headlights or parking lights on. And uh, here I am, uh, the owner said, uh, go ahead, get in the car, and I'll video you, and uh, so that's what I did. It's like old home week, and I could almost visualize my, my aunt sitting there. She's my favorite aunt. Yeah, what a cool person she was. And here I am, familiar uh, place behind the wheel. I used to back the car around uh, when she was ready to leave the... Uh, and she visited our house, and uh, so I had a little driving experience there. Very cool. Another interesting thing about her is she liked to, <laughs> she never liked to fill up the gas tank, so she's running very close to E. <laughs> and we've had a few times when uh, <laughs> when we ran out of gas, uh, a couple of times I remember, <laughs> and her, her mother would give her the devil if she was riding in the back. 